Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Tiffany and today I've got a Walmart grocery pickup haul for you, so stay tuned. If you're new to our channel, I hope that you enjoy this video. Please consider subscribing to be a part of our YouTube family. Also consider heading over to the Instagram page to follow us over there for more fun and shenanigans. Today's grocery haul is a Walmart pickup. If you've not tried Walmart grocery pickup yet, where have you been? Unless it's not in your area. I recommend giving it a try. Um, we love it because it allows me to shop from home and place the order and pick it up whenever is convenient for me without having to drag the kids into the store. Today's haul is pretty small. Uh, if you watched a few days ago, I did a Walmart like grocery haul. I couldn't find my words there for a moment. Um, and we really don't need a lot. It's mainly just produce and like a few like staple items. We need to get through what we have. I'll give you a sneak peek just of my pantry. Look at this. When I say pantry, I mean like snack foods, cereals, lunchbox type stuff. So here is like a ton of chips chips and crackers. This is our sweets bin, so it's got, um, a lot of this is from like our variety fun box. We throw the sweets in there, but there's also like fruit snacks, mini marshmallows, we've got popcorn and oatmeal. This is all cereal, well, those are goldfish crackers. We're actually running low, low on cereal. We've got goldfish crackers. Behind here, I've had to start stacking a bunch of like go-go squeeze and uh, apple sauces because I've gotten them on Ibotta for a really good deal. A bunch of chips that are open. We typically don't have big bags of chips. We tried the Lay's like seasonal flavors or whatever they do, like the bacon wrapped jalapeno popper, um, deep dish pizza, I think was the other one. Yeah, deep dish pizza. So we tried those two new ones and then we had a coupon for bags of free Doritos. So that's why we have the big ones. We've got some more cereal here. Um, oyster crackers for chili night. And then this is all like snacks. Again, a lot of this comes from the variety fun boxes or companies that send us stuff to try. Like all these like bear yo-yo fruit things. Those were sent to us to try. Um, so we had like granola bars. This is like protein bars, fiber bars, a thing of Pringles. And then I have a huge box in the bottom. I bought some chips from Costco because we ran out of what we had from Variety Fun. And then we got our Variety Fun box. I wasn't thinking on that one. So we've got a ton of chips and like Scooby Snacks and all just all sorts of stuff. This is just like lunch boxes and a few more big bags of chips. Good Lord. And we're not even chip people. Um, we had coupons from Lay's for like three or four free bags. So that's how we ended up with a lot of those. But that's just the snack pantry. This is like the pantry pantry that has like canned goods, pastas, um, backup supply, backup like um, condiments like mustard and dressings and jelly and all that. So this isn't like, I try not to keep this too full because this is literally the only space we have for stuff like that. Um, so I try not to go overboard. There's a lot of canned soup here. I bought a case of it from Costco as we're heading into like the colder months. It makes it easy. Like weeknight meal with a grilled cheese. Um, there's some canned stuff back there. Anyway, so Needless to say, I need to stop buying stuff we don't need. So here is the little haul. Um, after my referral coupon that I used, it was like $33. So originally like $43, but I got $10 off. And they were out of stock on my melatonin gummies. So that's, we don't have those. So anyway, we got half gallon of unsweetened original almond milk. Half gallon of regular milk. I got this for a recipe. Um... I know you can use almond milk in some stuff. This is to make muffins, and I don't know if almond milk would work as well. Someone let me know in the comments. I didn't Google it or anything, so I was just like, I'll just pick up some regular milk. Got some black grapes. Those were the cheapest ones this week. Got a dozen eggs to make hard-boiled eggs. It's been a real long time since I've made those in the Instant Pot, so I thought I would do that. Uh, I throw them in Will's lunchbox a lot, and then Alice also likes to snack on them. Got some celery. We are not, ignore my dirty dishes. Uh, we are not huge fans of celery, but I bought crunchy peanut butter to go along with it, and I figured that I might be able to tolerate it. I'm just looking for like healthy midday snacks for myself and for the rest of them. Did you get another bloody nose? No, this is a fashion statement. Oh, you poor thing. He's had three bloody noses since last night. Two of them today, you poor guy. You all right? Yeah. All right. Give him sympathy. Here it is. Pour it. Mwah. That's not how pouring works. Pour it. Mwah. All right. Back to this. Uh, three English cucumbers. One small bag of the sugar snap peas. We haven't had these in a while, so I thought I would pick some up. This was a substitution. I ordered the market side, like regular hummus. Alice has been loving it with veggies or pretzels or whatever. 
They substituted with Supremely Spicy, which this Sabra Spicy is my favorite, but she will probably not eat this because it's spicy. Luckily, we have some of the regular stuff still left in the uh, refrigerator. Three bananas for snacks or roll-ups. Alice, please step back. She keeps trying to... This is spicy hummus, baby. You just heard me say that. Some cocktail tomatoes. I've been getting these a lot. I like to just quarter them with some cucumbers, salt and pepper, and eat it like that. Or I've been quartering them with salt and pepper and eating it with cottage cheese. So I picked up another container of cottage cheese. Last time I did the small curd and I was quickly reminded that I prefer the large curd. A jar of baby dill pickles. These are great for snacking or lunch boxes. They're perfect size for lunch boxes, actually. Here's the crunchy peanut butter that I got to go along with the celery. Jackson requested a box of Hot Pockets. He saw that I bought some for Will a week or two ago, and he was like, I want some. We don't buy them often, but he really likes them. Two cans of sweet peas for the pantry. Um, we have corn and green beans on hand, but we didn't have any peas. A loaf of cinnamon raisin bread for the kids and myself. I don't know if Will really likes it, but... I was reminded, I was looking at some old videos and pictures of kids' lunch boxes, and I remember I used to cut these into little like dips, dipping sticks. Uh, I wouldn't even toast it. I just cut them into strips and add some apple butter, and they could dip them in the apple butter, and that was a lunchbox item. And I was like, oh yeah, we used to do that, so I picked them up. A bag of Italian-style cheese for pizza nights. We always like to throw some extra cheese onto our frozen pizzas on Friday nights. Oven roasted turkey breast. This is our favorite. Um, we also really like the ham and the salami, but right now we're just really in a turkey breast phase. Uh, ketchup for a backup because we're almost out of the one that's in the refrigerator. The kids are obsessed with these banana pops. It is getting colder here and they are still asking for popsicles, like on a regular basis. So I said, all right, I'll grab one more bag and then we'll reevaluate our life after that. But uh, they like the banana ones and they're pretty inexpensive. I was out of gum in the car and I like to have gum in the car so I picked up a three pack of the Sweet Mint Orbit gum. Um, the kids and I all like this. Will, I, he doesn't ride in the van much but I'm sure he would eat it too but he doesn't really eat gum much either. So, And then two packs of children's hangers because my kids have way too many clothes. Very blessed. We got a lot handed down to us and um, our closet is full, or their closet is full. So I needed more hangers to hang the stuff up. And that is everything in this week's Little Baby Grocery Haul. All right, thank you so much for watching. We are headed out to the pumpkin patch. This is the only day this month that we are able to go because they're only open on weekends. And next weekend, the kids are, and I are in Michigan again. Uh, very impromptu, but Will's sister and her husband are opening a gymnastics facility and it's their grand opening. So they asked if we could come and celebrate with them and because the kids and I don't have anything else going on, uh, we said yes. So we're going to be doing that and then the following weekend is Jackson's Cub Scout camp trip where me, Jack, and Alice will be camping again. Will has to work weekends. He's never available on weekends. Um, so I'm taking the kids camping for Cub Scouts. So this is the only day that we can go. So we're going to go enjoy it. The weather is perfect. Pumpkin patch weather. It's going to be like mid 60s. It's sunny and it's gorgeous out. So I'm going to get this put away. We're going to go enjoy our afternoon. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye.